Embark on a nostalgic journey with a classic 1970s TV series, a roller coaster of emotions that promises laughter, shocks, and tears. The show follows the lives of two mismatched roommates, each with a distinct personality that leads to endless comedic situations. One, a neat freak, the other, laid back watch out for your favorite character and their hilarious antics. As you dive into the world of this timeless show, reminisce about the memorable moments and characters that stole the spotlight. Was it the meticulous neat freak or the easygoing companion who captured your heart? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this beloved series in the comments below. Your stories might trigger a trip down memory lane for fellow fans. So buckle up for more funny, shocking, and touching moments from this beloved show, and remember to share your thoughts. Get ready for a ride filled with humor, drama, and heartwarming moments. Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to engage with us as you relive the magic of the show. In the lively TV era of the 1970s, people couldn't get enough of the funny show about two very different roommates called The Odd Couple. It was based on a play by Neil Simon and was set in New York City. The show followed the adventures of Felix and Oscar, who ended up living together after their marriages ended. People really liked The Odd Couple because they could relate to it and it made them laugh. It showed how friendships and relationships can be tricky, especially when you're living with someone who is totally opposite to you. The show became really popular and is still loved today because of its funny jokes and clever writing. In the narrative of how Felix and Oscar met, three versions were presented throughout the series. Initially, they were depicted as childhood friends, later as army buddies, and once as jury members in a murder trial. Eventually, the reference to childhood was omitted from the opening narration. Felix's divorce, as highlighted in the episode My Strifing Court, marked a legal milestone in New York State, being the first divorce granted on grounds of pestiness. Tony Randall, who portrayed Felix, had significant theatrical experience, originating the role of E.K. Hornbeck in the Broadway production of Inherit the Wind. Despite his commitments to other projects, Randall's dedication to the odd couple remained evident. In the world of television, there's often a behind-the-scenes dance to find the perfect cast for a show. Before settling on its iconic lead, there were various contenders, each with their own advocates. Some favored a familiar face like Mickey Rooney, while others pushed for a different talent. In the end, it was the insistence of one influential figure that shaped the destiny of the show. Initially, the show carried the weight of its creator's name, Neil Simon, but he distanced himself, wary of premature judgments. However, as the series found its footing, even Simon became a supporter, making a cameo appearance to show his approval. This journey from disagreements over titles to winning over the creator's support mirrors the evolution of a beloved series, securing its place in television history. In the 1970s, Penny Marshall appeared on several popular TV shows concurrently, including Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. On The Odd Couple, she portrayed the character Myrna Turner. Meanwhile, John Fiedler, Carol Shelley, and Monica Evans are notable for appearing in both iterations of The Odd Couple. However, only Evans and Shelley reprised their roles, while Fiedler portrayed two distinct characters across different episodes. Even after the series concluded, Tony Randall, who played Felix, recalled encountering questions about the relationship between Felix and Oscar. On one occasion, when Randall and his wife arrived home from the airport, a cab driver mistook Randall's wife for someone else, prompting speculation about Randall's connection to his co-star. In the world of entertainment, some stories stand out for their lasting impact. One such tale began on Broadway in 1965 and later found its way to television screens, bringing laughter to countless homes. The show featured Tony Randall, who played Felix Unger, and after it ended, he won an Emmy Award for his outstanding performance. Despite its cancellation, the show left a mark, showing that talent shines through challenges. Even famous faces like Monty Hall made appearances, adding to the fun. This story, with its humor and memorable characters, continues to delight audiences today. It's a reminder of the skillful writing of Neil Simon and the cast talent showing that good entertainment never goes out of style. In one episode of the show, Eleanor Donahue played a character named Miriam Welby, which is a nod to a character in another famous show. This connection shows how the two shows are linked. John Qualen, who often acted alongside John Wayne, also appeared in the series. A particular episode called Password is remembered as one of TV's funniest moments, showing how the show still makes people laugh today. Nestled on 1E49 Park Avenue, the apartment building featured in The Odd Couple serves as an actual address in New York City. The opening credits scenes were shot here, attracting fans who hoped to catch a glimpse of the memorable duo. 
Some even send mail addressed to the characters, and it occasionally finds its way there. Jack Klugman particularly enjoyed the episode titled Password as his favorite from the series. Besides Nancy Cunningham, Oscar often talked about his girlfriend Crazy Rhoda Zimmerman, although she never appeared on screen. These little details are still warmly remembered by fans of the show who visit the site. In the Broadway, film, and television renditions of The Odd Couple, John Fiedler, alongside Carol Shelley and Monica Evans, shared the stage and screen. While Carol and Monica maintained consistent roles across all three versions, John, who portrayed poker player Vinny in the Broadway, and film adaptations assumed different characters on television. The opening credits feature Oscar and Felix engaging in a lively dance around a maypole. In the backdrop, the Gulf and Western building makes an appearance, signaling the show's production under Paramount, then a subsidiary of Gulf and Western. The camera then zooms in on the duo, setting the tone for the series. During the initial season, the show adopted a single camera format with a laugh track, using the same apartment scene in the 1968 movie. However, from the second season onwards, the odd couple transitioned to a three-camera format in a studio before a live audience. These behind-the-scenes details offer insights into the evolution of the odd couple across different mediums and its production dynamics. In the world of entertainment, there are stories of resilience and triumph, as well as those of loss and regret. One such tale involves a well-known figure who faced health struggles with courage and determination. Initially diagnosed with a brain tumor that stemmed from a type of cancer affecting the lungs, she underwent treatment, but not without consequences. Despite successful procedures, she experienced a significant weight gain, a visible reminder of her health battle. Eventually, she announced a period of remission, reflecting on past choices with a sense of remorse. Sadly, in the year before last, she passed away due to complications related to heart failure. Throughout her journey, she found support in unexpected places, with colleagues and friends praising her choices along the way. Meanwhile, in a separate realm of entertainment, a beloved character's address became a point of interest for fans, adding an intriguing layer to the narrative. Additionally, a classic film showcased a performance so moving that it brought the director to tears, a testament to the power of storytelling in cinema. These snippets of trivia and reflection offer glimpses into the diverse tapestry of the entertainment world, where human stories intersect with creativity and emotion, leaving an indelible mark on those who experience them. In one episode, Oscar calls his girlfriend's Rhoda and Phyllis to try to get a date for the theater, referencing characters from the Mary Tyler Moore show. Tony Randall, a versatile actor, received five Tony Award nominations for his work on Broadway, showcasing his talent beyond the odd couple. Victor Buono, known for his roles in Batman and the Wild Wild West, left a lasting impression with his portrayal of Count Carlos Manzipi. These connections highlight the intertwined nature of television in that era. In the mid-1950s, actors Jack Klugman and Tony Randall crossed paths in the Pirate's House during the golden age of television. Little did they know, 15 years later, they would reunite for the classic sitcom. The Odd Couple's opening credits unfold with an iconic narration, revealing that Felix, portrayed by Tony Randall, was compelled to vacate his residence on November 13. Interestingly, this date aligns with the birthday of the show's executive producer, Gary Marshall. Pamela Ferdin, another contributor to the series, took a different path after the 80s. She transitioned from the acting world to become a registered nurse, marrying a surgeon along the way. The journey doesn't include children, marking a distinctive turn in Ferdin's life post The Odd Couple. These behind-the-scenes glimpses add layers to the narrative, showcasing the diverse trajectories of those involved in the creation of the timeless sitcom. From shared histories in the 50s to birthdays embedded in the show's storyline and post-show transformations, The Odd Couple, beyond its on-screen humor, resonates with the diverse experiences of its cast and crew. Gary Marshall, creator of the original series, later advised on the 2015 remake, featuring Matthew Perry as Oscar Madison and Thomas Lennon as Felix Unger. Marshall even made an appearance as Oscar's father in one episode, paying tribute to the original Oscar Madison, Walter Matthau. The first episode of the original series aligned with Marshall's birthday, marking Felix Enger's eviction. Throughout the show, Felix juggles reconciliation attempts with his wife, Gloria, and a serious girlfriend, Miriam. In a memorable twist, Felix and Miriam end up double dating with Oscar and his date only to discover that Oscar's date is Gloria, leading to a long overdue meeting between the two women. Jane Dulo, who portrayed Oscar's mother, was just five years older than Jack Klugman. Gary Marshall, who attended DeWitt Clinton High School in the Bronx, New York, graduated in 1952. 
Jack Klugman was diagnosed with throat cancer in 1974, leading to vocal surgery in 1989, resulting in a harsh, gravelly voice. His cancer and scratchy voice were incorporated into several later film and television roles, including projects like The Odd Couple Together Again, Dear God, and Diagnosis Murder. In the original 12 Angry Men movie, Jack Klugman, who played juror number five, was the only surviving actor from the film. He made his character feel real, adding a lot to the story. The two actresses who played the Pigeon Sisters in both the 1968 movie and the Broadway play also acted in the TV series. They had great chemistry with the main actors, making the show funny and warm. Felix's dad was an eye doctor in Chicago, and he happened to treat Oscar's dad, creating a cool connection between Felix and Oscar. The characters in the show had interesting lives that made people want to watch, even years later. Back in November 1970, on a spooky Friday the 13th, something interesting happened in the world of TV. Jack Klugman, known for his role in The Odd Couple, showed off his acting skills in James Sweet's play The Value of Names at the George Street Playhouse in New Brunswick, NJ. Around the same time, Eleanor Donahue, another familiar face from The Odd Couple, received a special tribute in a song called Ellie's Smile by Jonathan Lore, celebrating her impressive career. These events highlight how the people connected to the popular TV series continue to make a mark in different ways. In the early 1970s, a memorable duo graced television screens, portraying characters with opposite personalities. Together, they brought humor and warmth to the small screen, leaving a lasting impact not just on the audience, but also on each other. Their chemistry was so palpable that it extended beyond the show's finale, blossoming into a lifelong friendship. The actor who played the messy and laid-back character garnered recognition for his exceptional performance, earning two Emmy Awards. His ability to infuse humor into the lives of the roommates solidified his status as a television legend. On a separate note, another actor made significant contributions to the film industry, appearing in multiple acclaimed movies. Despite the years that have passed since his notable roles, his influence on cinema remains undeniable. These intertwined stories brought to life by talented individuals continue to resonate with audiences, shaping the landscape of television and film. They exemplify the timeless charm of storytelling and the enduring bonds forged through shared experiences. In the middle of a popular TV show's second season, one character's girlfriend disappears without any explanation. This creates a gap in the story that's not addressed. Among the many actors in the show, there's one who's been in several really important movies. Some of these movies are considered really special because they're culturally or historically significant. For example, he's been in classics like His Girl Friday and Casablanca, which are famous even today. Penny Marshall did something pretty amazing in the entertainment world. She was the first woman to direct a movie that made over $100 million in the United States. That's a huge deal. She actually did it twice, with Big in 1988 and A League of Their Own in 1992. These things add a lot of interesting details to the TV show story and show how talented its actors are in the bigger world of entertainment. After The Odd Couple, Jack Klugman found success in another popular series called Quincy three years later. Meanwhile, Tony Randall didn't have the same luck with another show. John Fiedler, known as Mr. Peterson from The Bob Newhart Show, said he's often asked about his role as a calm police official possessed by Jack the Ripper in a 1967 episode of the original Star Trek series titled Wolf in the Fold. Talking about The Odd Couple, Jack Klugman mentioned that the opening narration stating Felix and Oscar as two divorced men was added to clear up any misunderstandings about their personal lives. These details give us a glimpse into what the cast members did after The Odd Couple and share interesting stories about their careers. Jack Klugman took on the role of Oscar Madison in the original Broadway run of The Odd Couple. His portrayal on stage preceded the iconic 1970 television series. Later in 1998, Klugman shared the stage once again with Tony Randall and Neil Simons, the Sunshine Boys, rekindling their on-screen chemistry. Tony Randall, known for his role as Felix Unger in The Odd Couple, had a sister named Edna. The character Felix's daughter in the series was named after Randall's real-life sister. The connections between Klugman and Randall extended beyond The Odd Couple, showcasing a professional collaboration that spanned both Broadway and television. Did you know that the actors from a famous TV show, The Odd Couple, had some interesting connections behind the scenes? One of them, he got married to his girlfriend in 2008. And what's more, his real-life wife actually played his character's ex-wife on the show. It's like life imitating art, or perhaps art imitating life in a fascinating twist. Another actor, often wrongly linked to a movie, had nothing to do with it at all. 
It's intriguing how misconceptions can arise, isn't it? These facts add depth to the stories behind the actors and clear up some misconceptions about them, shedding light on the intricacies of their personal and professional lives. Fascinating, isn't it? All these tidbits make you see the show in a whole new light. Penny Marshall's ashes rest at Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles, California, with the L from her character Laverne DeFazio adorning the base of her headstone. Pamela Ferdin achieved a notable feat by being the first actor to take down a Clint Eastwood character on screen in the film The Beguiled. Tony Randall, alongside Jack Klugman, showcased their talents together long before the odd couple, performing in the Pirate's House during the golden age of television period. Their collaboration in The Odd Couple solidified their on-screen chemistry. In 1972, Victor Buono received recognition for his outstanding performance in Henry Roman IV, Part I at the Mark Taper Forum Theater in Los Angeles, California, being honored with the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award. As the series came to a close, Felix, portrayed by Tony Randall, remarried Gloria and made the decision to move out of the familiar apartment setting. Tony Randall's biography, featured in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, provides insights into the life of the actor. These pivotal moments in the lives of the characters and the noteworthy recognition for Victor Buono showcase the depth and evolution within the narrative of the odd couple. In the show, Oscar wrote for a real newspaper called the New York Herald. The story starts with the idea that his wife kicked him out, but later we find out they both lived in the apartment with her leaving and him staying. Penny Marshall's wedding to Michael Henry happened in their backyard, at the same time as President John F. Kennedy's assassination. They spent their honeymoon in a motel, watching the funeral on TV. The interesting relationship between Oscar and his wife adds depth to the story, giving us a peek into their unusual bond. Penny Marshall's wedding, mixed with a national tragedy, shows how personal and historical events come together in the show. In Burbank, California, a theater owned and operated by a well-known filmmaker was managed by his daughter and another individual. The filmmaker had a deep affection for movies, particularly enjoying a classic from 1942. An actor famous for his role in a famous film from 1957 had an unexpected connection with a popular show. He later participated in a stage performance in 2012. The connections between these individuals create an interesting backstory behind the scenes. Felix and Murray, both members of the Sophisticados, a band specializing in 1930s music, showcased their musical versatility in one episode where they adopted the country and western persona as Red River Unger and his saddle sores. Tony Randall, who earned an Emmy Award for his role in the series after its cancellation, delivered a memorable acceptance speech with a touch of humor, stating, Thank you. Now, if I only had a job. Recently, The Odd Couple earned a spot among the top 100 comedy films of all time on Rotten Tomatoes, solidifying its enduring appeal and comedic prowess. In an interesting twist, the last name of the Miriam Welby character in the show references Eleanor Donahue's previous connection with actor Robert Young as she played his daughter on Father Knows Best. During the run of The Odd Couple, Young was starring in Marcus Welby, MD on ABC. Jack Klugman received a diagnosis of throat cancer in 1974 while still working on the show. His voice remained unaffected until 1988, when one of his vocal cords was removed. Tony Randall, a key figure in the series, founded the National Actors Theatre in New York. Jack Klugman, known for his role in The Odd Couple, was honored on the best of the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast in 1998. Despite earning $7,000 per episode in the final season, Klugman ended up making more money from his 10% ownership in the show. Eleanor Donahue, who joined the cast, struggled with her lines during the first table read. Tony Randall, one of the stars, reacted strongly by banging on the table and yelling at her, leading her to tears. However, the next day, Donahue received flowers and an apology note from Randall. Their relationship blossomed into a great friendship. In the casting process for the 1977 film The Rescuers, Pamela Ferdin was initially considered for the voice role of Penny. John Fiedler, known for his roles in both the 1968 film and subsequent television adaptation of The Odd Couple, shares this unique distinction with Carol Shelley and Monica Evans. Notably, Jack Klugman, another figure from the original The Odd Couple, served on the board of directors for New York's National Actors Theater. These connections underscore the intertwined nature of the entertainment industry. Felix's children, Leonard and Edna, shared their names with Tony Randall's real middle name and his sister. The personal connection added a subtle touch to Felix's character in The Odd Couple. Tony Randall, known for his role as Felix, had a passion for classic theater. 
1991, he founded the nonprofit National Actors Theater, investing $1 million of his own money and securing an additional $2 million from corporations and foundations. His efforts aimed to revive the glory of Broadway's classic performances. During the casting process, Art Carney and Dean Martin were considered for the role of Felix. Interestingly, Carney had originally portrayed Felix in the Broadway play, adding a layer of theatrical continuity to the casting considerations. In the world of casting, the choices and potential alternatives for Felix underscored the significance of finding the right fit for the iconic character. The odd couple's casting decisions resonated with the spirit of the theater. In a memorable episode, Felix and Oscar got called for jury duty, adding a funny twist to their already chaotic lives. This was a subtle reference to Jack Klugman's earlier role in 12 Angry Men. Also, Pamela Ferdin, known for her strong activism, made a guest appearance in a Clint Eastwood movie, playing a character who really loves animals. Interestingly, she had tried for a big part in The Exorcist, but lost to Linda Blair, who became famous for her role in the scary movie. These connections and stories add interesting layers to Hollywood's history, where paths cross and destinies connect in surprising ways. In one segment featuring Howard Kosel, he revealed Oscar's go-to meal lasagna with french fries and his favorite dessert Boston cream pie. Jack Klugman received multiple Emmy nominations for his role in the show, but he only clinched the win for The Odd Couple, not Quincy. Despite their on-screen rivalry, Howard Kosel and Oscar Madison were scripted to be arch enemies. In the early 2000s, a well-known actor from The Odd Couple, Jack Klugman, put on his own show called An Evening with Jack Klugman at the Falcon Theater in Burbank, California. This show ran from September 12 to October 19, 2003, drawing in audiences to see Klugman perform solo. When ABC sportscaster Howard Kosel appeared in two episodes of The Odd Couple, it caused a big jump in the show's ratings, making those episodes stand out to viewers. The characters Felix and Oscar weren't just written parts, they reflected the real-life interests of the actors who played them. Tony Randall's love for opera and classical music was infused into Felix's character, while Jack Klugman's passion for horse racing was evident in Oscar's personality. These connections between the actors and their characters added depth and made The Odd Couple more relatable and enjoyable for its audience. In its early episodes, The Odd Couple featured Christopher Shee, known for his voice role as Linus and Peanuts, portraying the across-the-hall neighbor Philip. Pamelin Ferdin, who voiced Lucy in Peanuts, originated the role of Felix's daughter Edna. Victor Buono gained popularity through his appearances on talk shows like The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. His comedy album Heavy became a hit after he performed a special version of Fat Man's Prayer on the show, selling over 60,000 copies the following week. Other tracks included A Word to the Wide and were the most. Penny Marshall, known for her role in The Odd Couple, directed the film A League of Their Own, which was recognized by the Library of Congress and added to the National Film Registry for its cultural significance. Despite initially low Nielsen ratings, The Odd Couple managed to avoid cancellation thanks to strong rerun performance over the summer months. In one memorable episode, characters from the show encountered playwright Neil Simon while walking down the streets of New York City. Simon, who wrote the play upon which the series is based, made a cameo appearance. Additionally, John Quallen and Paul Fix appeared together in five projects spanning several decades, including three John Wayne movies. Their collaboration began in 1936 and concluded in 1973, showcasing their enduring partnership across various films. Throughout the series, Oscar and his poker pals engaged in games with varying stakes, ranging from small change to substantial sums. John Fiedler, known for his role as Homer on NBC Radio's The Aldrich Family, brought his talents to the show. Gary Wahlberg, who portrayed Speed, later joined Klugman on Quincy M.E., leveraging their long-standing friendship. Their collaboration added depth to the show's ensemble cast, enriching the viewing experience. The familiar opening narration of the show was first heard in episode 16 of the first season. Initially, it mentioned Felix as appearing at the home of his childhood friend, Oscar Madison. However, this was later adjusted in the second season due to a realization from a previous episode. The word childhood was removed from the narration, resulting in a simpler statement he appeared at the home of his friend, Oscar Madison. Almost immediately after the TV show was canceled, the cast reunited in a touring production of the play the series was based on. Interestingly, out of Gary Marshall's Big Four, the odd couple was the only one that didn't make it into the 80s. During their time together from the late 70s to the early 90s, Jack Klugman and Barbara Nuguez shared a close bond that unfortunately came to an end in 1992. 
Barbara claimed he assured her of lifelong support as his common law partner, but her legal pursuit faltered as Klugman was still legally married. In 1999, a Los Angeles jury dismissed her $881,000 palimony claim. Interestingly, the camaraderie among the actors of the show, marked by poker games and pranks, seemed to have a positive impact on their longevity. The cast members, like Tony Randall, who lived to 84, Klugman and Gary Wahlberg, both passing away at 90, Al Molinaro making it to 96, Ryan McDonald at 89, and Larry Gelman, the last survivor, passing away at 90 on June 7, 2021. Concerns arose at ABC about potential viewer assumptions regarding Felix and Oscar's living arrangement. To playfully challenge these assumptions, Tony Randall and Jack Klugman engaged in improvised scenes with homoerotic dialogue, sending them to the network as a prank. Some of these scenes are captured in the odd couple outtakes. All in all, the relationships and dynamics off-screen were as intriguing as the on-screen chemistry. It's fascinating how the show's cast members, in their own ways, defied expectations and left a lasting impact. In a twist of fate, Oscar's middle name was Trevor. Interestingly, he directed some episodes that became the last work of director George Marshall. At 80 years old, Marshall finished a directing career that lasted over 55 years. Sadly, he passed away about three years after his final involvement with the show. Notably, Penny Marshall, known for her role in Laverne and Shirley, made a rare appearance at the Hollywood Collectors Show in North Hollywood, California. She, along with Cindy Williams and Eddie Mecca, warmly greeted hundreds of fans, signing autographs, and taking pictures with them in October 2002. These snippets offer a peek behind the scenes and post-show interactions of the people involved in the series, giving us personal moments beyond what we see on screen. In the world of classic TV, there was a show that brought laughter to many. One season saw a talented actress play two different roles, adding depth to the story. The characters, portrayed by two talented actors, shared a remarkable chemistry that defined the series. Whenever they ventured outside, they drove a dark-colored 1966 Ford four-door station wagon or a vibrant red Volkswagen Beetle, adding to the humor of their escapades. Despite concerns about ratings, one actor remained optimistic, foreseeing the show's success and syndication. Their belief in the timeless humor and memorable performances proved to be well-founded. The show's popularity endured, leaving a lasting impression on television. The story of this TV gem goes beyond its original run, resonating with audiences for years to come. It reminds us that true classics stand the test of time, thanks to the magic created by its talented cast and crew. Back in the day, The Odd Couple made history as the final Friday sitcom to snag Emmy nominations for Best Comedy Series. It proves how good the show was and how much people still love it. Even now, The Odd Couple's humor and characters are just as funny, showing that it's a classic. Winnie and Emmy shows that it's one of the best in TV comedy. In a shocking turn of events during the production of The Odd Couple, it was revealed that Tony Randall, who played Felix Unger, had a severe fear of being on stage without his trousers. This fear stemmed from an incident in his youth, causing him immense distress whenever he had to perform in scenes requiring him to be pantless. Despite his professionalism, this phobia added a layer of complexity to filming certain scenes, creating a challenge for the production team. Amidst the lightheartedness of a popular TV show, a shadow fell over one of its actors. Behind the scenes, tragedy struck when the actor portraying Murray, the cop, faced the devastating loss. Despite this, he persevered, showing remarkable dedication to his role. Navigating personal grief while continuing to perform showcased his resilience. The cast and crew, understanding his sorrow, stood by him, demonstrating the camaraderie off-camera. This real-life episode in the show's history reminds us of the human stories often overlooked. His commitment amid tragedy adds depth to the series, highlighting the resilience of those involved. In the complexities of life, both on and off the screen, the show remains a unique chapter marked by untold stories. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure, even in the face of personal tragedy. In the world of television history, there's a poignant story surrounding a 1970s TV series. During its production, a tragic event occurred the actor's wife passed away. This sad incident cast a shadow over the making of the series, adding unexpected sorrow to the comedic tale. Despite facing personal loss, the lead actor remained dedicated to his role. The show, which brought together two contrasting personalities, became a symbol of his professionalism and resilience during a difficult time. Despite these challenges, the show continued, gaining popularity and leaving a lasting impression on sitcoms. 
Its success was not only due to the chemistry among the cast, but also to the creative spirit in tough times. Balancing personal tragedy and professional duty, the TV series managed to find humor amidst life's complexities, making it a timeless piece of television history. In a surprising turn of events, during the production of The Odd Couple, lead actor Tony Randall suffered a heart attack. This incident led to a halt in filming while he recovered, causing concern among the cast and crew. Despite the setback, Randall returned to the set after a brief hiatus, demonstrating his resilience and dedication to the show. The Odd Couple, known for its comedic prowess, delved into serious territory with the passing of actress Janice Hansen, who portrayed Myrna Turner, a recurring character on the series. Hansen's sudden death shocked the cast and audience alike, leaving a somber atmosphere on set. Her absence was deeply felt, and the show paid tribute to her memory in subsequent episodes. The Odd Couple gained popularity for its witty humor and dynamic characters. However, behind the scenes, tensions arose between the two leads, Tony Randall and Jack Klugman. Their conflicting personalities occasionally led to disagreements, adding a layer of complexity to their on-screen chemistry. Despite their differences, they managed to maintain a professional working relationship, ensuring the success of the series. In the world of classic television, there's a memorable story about a show that left a lasting impact, not just for its humor, but also for the personal challenges faced by one of its actors. Amid the laughter of the set, tragedy struck when the talented actor known for playing Murray, the cop, suddenly lost his wife. Despite this heartbreaking loss, he continued to bring his character to life, showing incredible professionalism in the face of personal grief. Throughout the show, viewers were treated to witty dialogue and comedic chemistry, all while this actor silently battled his own struggles. His commitment to his craft and the success of the show despite his personal pain highlight the strength of the human spirit. Even as he grappled with sorrow off-screen, he managed to inject humor into his performances, adding depth to the show's legacy. In the world of classic sitcoms, there are often untold stories behind the laughter. This actor's journey through tragedy and triumph, mirrored by the characters he portrayed, serves as a powerful example of resilience in the face of adversity. The show remains a timeless classic, blending the ordinary and extraordinary into a narrative that resonates beyond the screen. In one unexpected turn during the production of the 1970 TV series, a tragic event unfolded behind the scenes. Midway through the second season, the actor who portrayed one of the main characters faced a personal crisis. Struggling with undisclosed personal issues, he abruptly left the show, leaving the production team in a difficult position. The sudden departure had a profound impact on the dynamics of the series. To address the absence of the key character, the writers had to make significant adjustments to the storyline. This unexpected twist not only affected the narrative arc, but also left a lasting impact on the overall tone of the show. The challenge of reconfiguring the series without this pivotal character tested the creativity and adaptability of the production team. Despite the unforeseen setback, they managed to navigate the situation and steer the show towards a new direction, albeit with a palpable void. This behind-the-scenes tragedy serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of television production where personal struggles can intersect with professional commitments, reshaping the course of a beloved series. In the realm of classic television, there's a sitcom from the 1970s that truly stands out. Amidst its humor, there's a poignant story behind the scenes. The lead actor faced personal sorrow during its production. His co-star and friend experienced a significant loss during that time. Despite the sadness, the show went on, showcasing their dedication. Throughout its run, it balanced humor and touching moments. The chemistry between the actors, both on and off screen, added to its charm. The sad backdrop of personal tragedy serves as a reminder of their professionalism and resilience. In the world of sitcoms, this show holds a unique place, not just for its humor, but also for the challenges its cast faced. The blend of personal sorrow and professional commitment adds depth to its legacy. In a surprising turn of events, during the production of The Odd Couple, actor Tony Randall insisted on meticulous adherence to the original script refusing to improvise or deviate from the written lines. This strict adherence to the script led to occasional tension on set, as Randall clashed with fellow actors and directors over creative liberties. Nevertheless, this commitment to the written word ultimately contributed to the show's success, showcasing the sharp wit and comedic timing of the cast. Despite the challenges behind the scenes, The Odd Couple remained a beloved classic, cherished by audiences for its humor and memorable characters. In an unexpected turn of events, the odd couple experienced a sorrowful twist behind the scenes. 
Amidst the comedic atmosphere, the series was shadowed by a tragic reality. One of its stars, Jack Klugman, faced personal anguish as his son unexpectedly passed away during the show's production. The grief-stricken actor had to endure this heartbreaking loss while continuing to bring laughter to audiences worldwide. Behind the facade of humor and camaraderie, the odd couple harbored a somber tale of loss and resilience. Jack Klugman's ability to carry on despite personal tragedy is a testament to his professionalism and dedication to his craft. Amidst the laughter and camaraderie of a beloved TV show, tragedy struck, altering the course of its story. One of its main stars faced personal loss when his co-star passed away unexpectedly, leaving both the cast and fans mourning the absence of such a pivotal character, forever changing the dynamic of the series. The TV show, known for its mismatched characters sharing an apartment, captured hearts with its witty humor and relatable situations. Despite its comedic tone, it delved into themes of friendship, loneliness, and the complexities of human relationships, resonating with audiences then and now. This show's influence on television comedy cannot be overstated. Its blend of humor and heartfelt moments paved the way for future sitcoms, inspiring generations of writers and performers. Even decades later, it continues to be loved for its timeless humor and memorable characters. In a shocking turn of events during the filming of The Odd Couple, one of the lead actors suffered a heart attack on set. It was a tragic moment for the cast and crew, halting production temporarily as they rallied around their colleague. Despite this setback, the show eventually resumed filming, but the incident left a somber atmosphere on set for some time. As for The Odd Couple itself, it was a groundbreaking sitcom that aired in the 1970s. It revolved around two mismatched roommates, Felix and Oscar, who navigate life together despite their stark personality differences. Felix, a neat freak, and Oscar, a slob, provided ample comedic fodder as they dealt with various situations arising from their clashing lifestyles. The show garnered widespread acclaim for its witty writing and stellar performances from the ensemble cast. With its unique premise and memorable characters, The Odd Couple remains a beloved classic in television history. In an unexpected twist, a sad event occurred behind the scenes of a famous TV show, The Odd Couple. While the audience enjoyed the funny moments on screen, Jack Klugman, the actor playing the messy character Oscar Madison, faced a personal tragedy. His wife, actress Brett Summers, who played his ex-wife on the show, was fighting cancer during the filming. This added a layer of sadness to the usually funny atmosphere of the series. Despite his own challenges, Klugman continued to give a great performance, showing his dedication to his work. Behind the scenes, he struggled with the emotional impact of seeing his wife's health decline while trying to keep the show lighthearted. Despite these difficulties, Klugman stayed committed to his role, showing his strength and the close connection with his co-stars. The mix of laughter on screen and personal sadness off screen gives a deep and emotional aspect to the odd couple, reminding us of life's complexities even in the middle of comedy. Amidst the production of the TV show, a surprising event unfolded involving one of its main stars. The actor who played the meticulous character faced a tragic loss when his spouse passed away during the show's run. Despite this personal hardship, he continued working on the series with unwavering professionalism and dedication. Throughout its episodes, the show explored themes of friendship, companionship, and the complexities of relationships. The dynamic between the neat freak and his messy roommate captivated audiences with its mix of humor and heartfelt moments. Despite their differences, their bond remained the core of the story, connecting with viewers deeply. Beyond its comedic side, the show tackles serious subjects like divorce, loneliness, and the challenges of getting older. This added depth helped the series stand out, earning praise from critics and building a devoted fan base. Even though it ended in the mid-1970s, the show left a lasting impression on TV history. Its influence continues to be seen in sitcoms today, proving the impact of its creators and cast members' lives on. In a surprising turn of events, the series experienced a somber moment behind the scenes. One of the show's stars faced personal struggles during production, battling alcoholism throughout the series' run. Amidst the laughter and camaraderie on set, the cast dealt with the tragic loss of a beloved member. During the production of the series, actor Tony Randall faced the devastating loss of his wife of over 50 years, leaving him to navigate grief while continuing to portray the iconic character of Felix Unger. Despite the challenges faced by the cast and crew, the odd couple persevered, delivering timeless humor and endearing characters to audiences for years to come. In an unexpected twist, a member of the odd couple's cast faced a heartbreaking tragedy. 
Following the show's success, one actor, Jack Klugman, who played Oscar Madison, experienced the devastating loss of his son, Adam Klugman, to a drug overdose. Despite this personal tragedy, he continued to deliver his performances with unwavering professionalism, showcasing resilience in the face of adversity. Throughout its run, the show delved into various themes with depth and nuance. The dynamic between Oscar Madison and Felix Unger, portrayed by Klugman and Tony Randall respectively, exemplified the complexities of friendship and the challenges of living together. The series explored the intricacies of human relationships, offering a glimpse into the lives of two mismatched roommates navigating life's ups and downs. Despite the humor, the odd couple addressed poignant issues, touching on themes of loneliness, failure, and the pursuit of happiness. The chemistry among the cast, combined with the sharp writing, contributed to the show's enduring popularity and cultural significance. Looking back, The Odd Couple remains a timeless classic, remembered not just for its humor, but also for its exploration of the human condition. Its portrayal of friendship, love, and loss continues to captivate audiences, securing its place in television history. Did you hear about that classic sitcom from the 1970s? It revolved around two roommates, Felix and Oscar, who were total opposites but managed to navigate life together. The show, unfortunately, got the axe after just five seasons, despite its popularity. Ratings were dropping and fans were left disappointed when it ended abruptly. The cancellation came as a surprise since the show had a dedicated fan base and received critical acclaim. Even with its sudden ending, this classic remains in the hearts of many for its humor, heart, and unforgettable characters. Despite its short run, it had a significant impact on TV comedy, setting the stage for future sitcoms. It taught us that even the most unlikely pairings can create moments that stick with us. So, what happened to the show, you ask? Well, it faced declining ratings, and that led to its cancellation. But hey, it's still a beloved classic, remembered for bringing humor and heart to our screens. In the end, The Odd Couple left a lasting legacy, proving that the most unexpected duos can create memorable moments on television. In its prime, the TV series managed to leave a mark on television history with its unique mix of humor and heartfelt moments. However, behind the scenes there was a sad story. One of the actors who played a major role experienced a personal tragedy when his wife passed away during the show's run due to lung cancer. This added a layer of depth to his performance, making his character even more relatable to viewers. The success of the show was not only due to its humor, but also the great chemistry between its main actors. Their on-screen bond mirrored their real-life friendship, which lasted long after the show ended. The friendship between the two characters became the heart of the series. Despite its popularity, the show faced some difficulties. Initially based on a play, and later a movie, it had to adapt to the demands of television. The team behind the scenes, led by a well-known figure, played a crucial role in bringing the essence of the original work to the small screen. The show's ability to seamlessly blend humor into the characters' everyday lives was key to its success. The influence of the person in charge extended beyond just writing, creating an environment where the actors could flourish. The supportive atmosphere allowed them to fully embody their characters. This, combined with the actors' chemistry, contributed to the lasting appeal of the show. In the world of classic television, this series serves as a reminder of the importance of a strong ensemble cast, solid storytelling, and the enduring power of humor, even in difficult times. The show's impact on television comedy continues to be felt by audiences, highlighting its lasting influence. Did you know that during the filming of The Odd Couple, Tony Randall, who portrayed Felix Unger, suffered from depression? This often affected his mood on set, creating tension with other cast members. Despite his struggles, Randall's performance remained impeccable throughout the series. On The Odd Couple, Jack Klugman, who played Oscar Madison, faced a personal tragedy. His son, David, tragically passed away during the show's run. Despite this devastating loss, Klugman continued to work on the series, showcasing remarkable professionalism and dedication to his craft.